Yeah, I'm Johnny Scoville. I'm Kit J. And I'm Kat. And this is Chase the Heat. So people in the know that know are going, is that Cat Cat? <laughs> right? Don't you think people are saying that? Is that that's not the cat? The cat. Is that the cat? It's Kit Cat. <laughs> it's Kit Cat. All right, so let's talk just a second. You uh, you are the confectionist. Is that a good word for it? I think so. The baker. The baker. The she is the, the, the magician. She's the is right. Wilhelmina Wonka. <laughs> right? You're just, uh, the stuff that you've done, like, uh, we're so going to eat this pretty she quick. She is the moment. female version of Willy Wonka. Totally. It really is. That's so Wilhelmina perfect. Wonka. Wilhelmina oh, Wonka. Wilhelmina. But, um, the, what, the, let me tell you what happened. If you're brand new and you're like, what are they even talking about? Harvest 912 is a wonderful outreach. Um, it's supported, and, and a lot of the gas that drives that engine comes from Mad Cow. Right. All right, and Mad Cow products, the sauce is made by Tad and Kit. However, the confectioners, all the candy and the cool stuff, that's your fault. The suckers. That's your fault. And the suckers, <laughs> yeah, right? People, go, people everywhere just really recoil. So, you know, just when say. she said the suckers, people around the country went, PTSD. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, um, the Johnny Miss, quick story. One day we're driving home, talking about our favorite uh, candy in a movie theater. Remember that? Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? Junior Mints were my favorite. Mm -hmm. And like two days later, there they were. I'm not, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating either. It wasn't it two days? Oh, yeah, or maybe it three? Was. No, it totally, totally was. And they were perfect. And here's the weird thing if I said I need a candy up there, she'd say, what kind? I'm like, I need a Snickers. When I tell you it would look like a Snickers and taste like a Snickers, and you'd have to, if you didn't come out of a wrapper, you'd be like, all right, how'd you do this? It's spooky what you do. You're, it's, and I'm telling you, I'm not even exaggerating. It's an art, it's a skill set, it's a, it's a, you're touched, yeah, you, have a, you have a gift. So what do you got here? These are sea salted uh, pecans enveloped in rich caramel dipped in dark chocolate and rich with scorpion powder. Tell me that's a, the way she said that. Enveloped. Anytime you're going to be enveloped with something, it's usually a good thing, unless it's a flame or something. Now, does the caramel have any hot powder in it as well, or Scorpion. just the chocolate? So it's a double. It's a, do double. It's a double dough. It's a double dough. Tell everybody what the, your heat level, what you enjoy heat wise. Because it's fun. <laughs> oh, get ready for this one. Probably um, three. Like, so you do know, you mild have... buffalo sauce? I like that. So this crazy, <laughs> super hot, ridiculous stuff she makes doesn't even eat. When, I'm kind of excited when about cat this. Eat, when Kat gets a taste of one of our things, like, ah. she does, she wipes her tongue up. <laughs> oh, funny. And you know what? We have to talk. I've worked in a... Oh, my God, I'll tell you something, too. Tell, go, I'll come back to it. Tell her. Well, I, I was making some, uh, what, some... I was making a glaze for meatloaf last night, and I used a spatula that I had used previously for the suckers. That you know, I wash them very good, but it had a you know little cracks in it, and I licked the glaze, and oh my god! I mean, it's been sitting in my drawer for weeks. <laughs> it's months. got a shelf like Polonium like, two thirty two. It's going to be around for a long time. Yeah, I was dying, and it got in my. I couldn't believe it. No, it's perfect. I'm glad you went with that because this segues right into that. I work. I've done a lot of work with Blazing Foods. We make a lot of the tubes of terror, really hot stuff, and every once in a while, every day, really. Um, you get burned. You just do. It's just part of the gig. You get it in your eyes. You get it. I mean, you just get it all over. There are times. I don't know if you like a big day in the office here, here, here. It just burns really, really bad. You get burned a lot. Does that ever happen? You get it in your eyes. If I itch a mucous membrane, either my butt or my <laughs> my eyes or my lips, yeah, it burns like hell. Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> You gotta love cat. All right, I'm ready. Are you gonna eat one of these with us? Hell no. All right, but you're gonna eat one. I'm gonna eat one. And by the Tad way, some of you may wonder. Go ahead. We're I back wish Tad, I would try one, but. Right. So Tad's not going to, but just so you guys know, Tad will eat a pepper with me later on. Well, he wants to be you, us to be, you two to be the guinea pigs. Yep, we are. Uh huh. They look for, now. You know, I'm they gonna bring good. this. I'm gonna bring one of these close up so you can see it. Mm. You can see the salt, the sea salt. They look good. I want look a small one though because I'm just oh, yeah, very, very salt. pretty. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. All right. Sight unseen. I haven't really eaten anything. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. uh, what do we uh, now? Do you have a name for these? I don't know. Not yet. The description was artistic and beautiful. It left me wanting more. It was gorgeous. <laughs> it wasn't it great? The enveloped and the mm -hmm. you know. We'll come up with something. You need to throw in a sconce. It's like it's like it's we good. need to call it like the scorpion fog. 
Or, you know, like it's like scorpion yeah. turtles. Eat it How about out. scorpion turtles, but you cut all the legs off. It's a scorpion shell. <laughs> like there are no legs on the thing. You know what? It's it's pulled into its shell, and it's that kind. Of, it's a scared turtle. Scared sleeping turtle. tortoise. It's a sleeping <laughs> tortoise. That's what the thing is. Well done. Are you ready? Okay. okay here we go. So all it's right. you and me, kid. All right. I'm Johnny Scovel. Get Jake's. This is Chase the Heat. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh man. You know what? Mm, that's good. No, right before I tell you what happened. Not five minutes ago I said, How hot are these? And then it occurred to me. I don't why am I asking it? <laughs> She's if any answer you're giving me is based on what you put in and you think is, is gonna what it's gonna equate to. My experience, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's pretty close. On my scale, it moved my needle. So it's like a maybe a one. Yeah. Probably a three for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About there. Right? Yeah. Very, very tasty though. But it could be whatever you want. You make it hot. I mean, this is let me tell you something. I mean, listen, this is good. So it's You're, a snacker. Yeah, it's not yeah. Not a challenge. Hmm. Super snacker. The dark shop is so good. Mm-hmm. It goes best with the the hot powder. Definitely. Dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. No chocolate doesn't work. Mm. It's good. Question for you. How often do you get marching orders or, hey, this is what we like to do when we talk to you, versus I got an idea and you just whip something up? Hmm. I do that a lot and Tad complains. Slow <laughs> down, girl! <laughs> I'm always whipping out ideas. Wait, 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 wait. How about this? How about this? And Ted's always like, slow down, slow down. I'm like, we only have so many. We can't label so many products. Right. We don't, you know, we don't. Oh, so I got good. a lot of ideas. You know what? So after eating kind of a full one, down. after eating a full one, the burn is beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. It might have, it might get, it's going to be probably a little bit more than a three or four for you. Because it's gotten to probably, it just might even get to a two for me. But the taste is so good. I could probably eat all those without a problem. They're, they're that yummy. So at this level, they're snackers. Oh, yeah. But we can make them into a challenge. Not right now, they're chocolate. <laughs> now, keep your cards kind of close to your vest. Do you have any ideas you're working on now or some like, things you got brewing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> saw it right there. It's nay on the <laughs> uh, the interior. Oh, you know, let me show you. <laughs> I, I, look at this, you guys. That's the interior of it, and it's just delicious. It really is. Let's say like all tongue, really, a little bit of lip, maybe. Mm -hmm. But no, I mean it's about a three. That's good. Three, four. It's not, not. We got enveloped. Three. We got enveloped in there. I want ensconced somehow worked into that Stunts. it just rolls right and i don't even know what it means in scots what is that it's is like it kind of like a sort of embedded like is it, yeah is it, is it a synonym is it a synonym for uh enveloped more or less yeah stay tuned people you know what thank you for being in this video you guys nobody has seen cat in a video before so this is sort of <laughs> and that really is the real cat the, the real cat, cat. the kit cat so yummy. Thank you for sharing this with us. Thank you very much. And uh, have we decided, is this going to be a, uh, a mad cow treat? Is this a done deal? Or? In the fall. In the fall. Yeah, yeah, chocolate. Yeah, we yep. can't ship chocolate when it's just like you know what, And You know what's great about that? While it can be sort of a drag, it's kind of like the Cadbury Easter eggs. Remember those? Yes. Yeah, wait. Like, when they're here, they're here. When they're not, I'm too late. Right. Sorry, yep. next year. So don't miss it is what I'm getting at. All right, don't miss this. All In right. the winter time, you're going to see these and you're going to want them. I want, they're yummy. Yeah, those are good. All right. Definitely. All our chocolate stuff will be, I don't know, October-ish, probably. Sleeping Turtles. Sleep sleeping Turtles. <laughs> I like Let's, it. That's a great name. Let Sleeping Turtles die. <laughs> and thank you to everybody that came out to the Rolling for Veterans. We had a spectacular a great time. time. You guys did such an amazing fun. job um, putting this together. It was fun. And we had a great time. It Let's see really everybody. was neat. And we saw a lot just... The right chili heads were there, <laughs> right. so it really was fun. There were a lot of great, and... lot of great people, and there's some amazing contests. Oh my Listen, goodness! Listen, honorable mention, a couple real quick ones. Um, <laughs> Ian, Ian Ruth, <laughs> Ian, Ian was amazing. Um, really, there's so many that just stand out performances. But I'm not joking when I tell you that the final 
Um, forgot he won, which was sp spectacular against Ian with the belt match. But the following day with the road to the belt, Dean Leverett scared the pants off me. What an imposing, chilly freak that man is. Thank God he's a nice guy too, you know, but. And then we did, in the putt putt, during the putt putt, it's kind of, everybody knows if you're a chili head, you kind of know like, what gets you out of a chili contest? Saying, I'm tapped out, I can't do it anymore, reaching for milk and drinking, or reversal of fortune, throwing up. So everybody knows that if you, in the event that you vomit, that's the end of the game, right? Well, for the golf, a twisted, evil adjustment of the rules. What we said was, in the event, let's say you get the challenge all the way down. And then like a few minutes later, you're like, oh, we're going to have a problem. It's coming back. You have the option of saying, yeah, I'm going to keep going. Now, if you've, anybody's ever done that, had their, you know, stuff's come back up, the, the thought of eating something hot after that is horrific because your throat is just destroyed. Katie Prettyman, let me tell you something. She went through. <laughs> She's doubled up over her bucket. And I'm like, and I, Tad's like, hey, she can keep going, you know. So, <laughs> so I walk up to her. I tap Katie on the show. I say, Katie, listen, I'm sorry. I know you're dying, but if you want to keep going, you have that option. She's like, thanks, appreciate it. And she kept going. <laughs> and so then I'm thinking, I'm thinking, holy mackerel. Talk about coming off the deck, right? Then um, Dean, it was just the whole thing was a freak show. She comes back in. She finishes. Three people finished the golf. At the end of the golf, the final hole was... Black Death. Your Black Summer. Death was the, the, the final hole, which is, I mean, I haven't even done it yet. And I'll tell you what, you I'm not you sure can, if I'm going to. Yes, it, I guess I'm going to. It's <laughs> wicked, 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 wicked hot. So at the end of this, you got to understand it. I mean, I'll feel bad. The whole, I, yeah, you feel bad. After the entire thing, it's over. I'm like, oh my, I can't believe that performance. I look over at Dean. He's got the sucker in his mouth. I said, Dean. Take that thing out. What are you doing? The game's over. Drop the sucker. And he, I said, why do you he still in your mouth? He goes, I like it. I want it. I like, oh, all you, man. The guy is just a straight he, running I beast. I know. And beast. man, when he and Ian were in the final of that row two match, just like photo finish. Oh, the photo finish was so sick. Unbelievable. We had, we had, for Gali, I was on one side. So when it comes down to the last two people, it's a speed round. So one person is staring at Fergali's mouth. He's going. No, no, it's not Fergali. No, no, no. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. His name might be the Beast from now on. <laughs> Brutal. Sorry about that. I got the name wrong. But he's chewing it up, and he's looking. He has to chew it up and go prove that it's empty, right? So he does first. So I'm looking at Ian. I know he's already lost, but he doesn't know it. Like everybody knows it, but he doesn't because he's staring at me. And he's chewing it up and he swallows. I'm like, yeah, it's great. You lost. <laughs> I felt that big. It was such a hard. I'm like, oh, you did great. And it's second place. Oh. And there's nothing but second place but this. Attaboy. And I felt terrible he doing that. So good. But there were oh so many God. standout, uh, you know, performances that you just like, like, it's like Woodstock. 90,000 people were there in real life, but, you know, 2.5 million people claimed to be there. This is one of those events. It was very small. The turnout wasn't so great, but I'm telling you, years from now, oh, I was there. Well, I was. You were. And you were. Oh, yeah, I was. And you were. And you were there in spirit because everybody was just, you did a number on people. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> did you have weird, yesterday, did you have any, like all weekend long, you're like, oh my gosh, somebody's, I feel like. There's feeling some bad vibes. What's going Seriously. on here? People but are cursing me. <laughs> here's what we want you to do. If you have enjoyed something that Kat has created with Mad Cow, please do me a favor. She's amazing. She really is. She's fun. She is Go to the comment She's section. And let's, yeah, for real. It's that fun. Show some yeah. love, please. Show some love in the comments. Let her, do me a favor. This is what I want you to do. Please, in the comments, say what your favorite snack or your favorite Mad Cow product is that, Kate, that Kat's created. And if you have any really cool suggestions, we might listen to them. Just saying. Maybe. All right. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Great snack. Thank you, guys. The Sleeping Turtle. That was good. Yeah, love that was guys. actually not. Yeah, I love Check this too. out. This is a button I'm going to use to stop this. I'm to get up and touch it. Maybe it'll work. So thank you for, for hanging out with us. In the bottom, you're going to see all the normal stuff. You're going to see Mad Cow. Right there. Right, right there. Over here, you're going to see in the bottom, you're going to see my son, Johnny Scoville Jr., and the lifeboat. And up on top, you're going to see all the challenges I've done and pepperology for brand new people. We'll see if this works. I'm Johnny Scoville. I'm Kit Tricks. And I'm Kat. Kit Kat and Johnny. This was Chase Need. And it's <laughs>